Hi everyone, welcome. If you're new here, my name is Aileen and here we like to talk about all things makeup, mostly luxury makeup, skincare, and fashion. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, I hope you consider subscribing and joining the family. Yay! I'm so excited because since the beginning of my channel, I've said how much I love all my eye looks. So today we're gonna play with the new Smoky Quartz from Tom Ford, and this is the All Matte Palette. So I'm not gonna do comparisons, just because I feel like I always do a lot of comparisons. I really get into them. But if you have anything you like for me to compare it to, just drop it down in the comments, and I'll put it on Instagram at Beauty. So let's move on to creating an eye look. But before we do, like we always say, comment, like, subscribe. Let's get to it. Okay. I am so excited for this palette. I will give you swatches of the palette. I'm just not, and I do have swatches on my Instagram, on my skin tone, as well as my daughter's who's medium deep. There you go. Ooh, I'm excited for this. And then this is the third shade, really pretty. And this creme formula, I will say I was slightly, oh, oh, that's really, that's a really rich brown. I was slightly disappointed with the tiger eye at first until I played around with it a little more. And definitely if you spritz the shadows or if you use a more dense brush, you're going to get more of a payoff. But for a very soft look, you really can't go wrong with either one of them, either one of the three. And I do have all three of them swatched on Instagram and I'll link the videos to the other two down below. It is a beautiful formula. It does blend effortlessly. That I cannot take away from it. But the more I thought about like his cream formula, those dual pods, I think are still my all-time favorite. As far as a quad, this is my favorite formula followed by the wet dry formula. But it also, it's all matter of preference. If you want that oomph, if you want that subtleness, if you want something that's easier to blend such as this, it's all up to you. It's all a matter of preference, what you like. Do you like that bam? Do you like shimmery? Do you like glittery? It really all depends. So let's move on. So I do have primarily a full face of Tom Ford on today. I think the only thing Tom Ford I didn't use was my under eye corrector. I did use the concealer and the lip liner and the setting spray. It, does Tom Ford have a setting spray? I think he does, but I don't think I've heard great things about it. So I never picked it up. I do have the matte primer on the way to me as well, which I'm excited about. And as soon as I get it, I'll do a review for you guys. But I do have the illuminating primer, so I primarily placed it here along the jawline. Pretty much I kept it away from the areas where I have emphasized pores and I don't want much shine, much shine because I'm gonna get shiny anyways. But besides that, I placed it everywhere. I definitely kept it away from the nose, from the chin. This is just all a little highlight, a lot of highlight, but I didn't think it, I could see it that much, but yeah, the camera's really pretty, picking that up. But if I can't find it to link it, I'll definitely have it listed down below as far as what I'm wearing. So let's move on. I'm excited. I'm going to start with this shade here and I'm going to use my unit brushes. I really haven't used all of them, but so far the ones I have, I'm really enjoying them. So this is the unit 307 and I'm going to go into that first shade and just tap off and I'm really just going to bring this up. I did prep my eyes with the Mario Prep and Set in the shade medium. I don't have the Tom Ford one. I've just heard like it's really good for dry eyes and I'm oily everywhere. So it's like the dry eyes I'm scared to use it. If you have oily, oily lids and you've tried the Tom Ford, let me know what you think. I do hear it's great 
for not emphasizing lines and really just giving you a smooth surface. I'm just really nervous on whether they work on oily lids. So again, just same shade. I'm just adding a little more and deepening it into the crease. Even though I buffed it out. So we're going to buff it out around here. I will say if you're one that really likes like a blingy inner corner and brow highlight, then this would not be the palette for you unless you're okay with really going in with the highlighter on the brow bone and on your inner corner. So this is the first shade. It's really pretty. It's like a perfect nude. Okay, and I did apply that shade on this eye off camera. Next, I'm gonna go into this deepest shade with the Unit 310. So this is more precise, like a thicker pencil brush. And I want to kind of just place it and then go back in and blend it. Because it is so rich. It's one of those colors I get a little nervous with. Like, wow, if I mess this up, this dark shade's going to be everywhere. <laughs> so I just like to place it first, bring it out just a little bit. And then I'm gonna look straight ahead and kind of place it right above the hood of my eye. So when I'm looking forward, you can kind of see that color where it transitions into the crease. So there you are, I've placed the color. So now with the same Unit 307 brush, I'm just gonna come in here and just blend that together. And you can see how effortlessly that, that just blended. And I'm just gonna flick this inward. It does diffuse the shade just a little bit. And if you want it darker, you can definitely pack it on. Apply with a more dense brush, blend with a more dense brush without putting so much pressure because they are so blendable. You don't wanna blend the entire color away if you really want that intensity. So next with the Unit 310, I'm just gonna kinda of go right below. And this is just because I really want that depth in the, in the eye. So I'm gonna place it on the crease and then we're gonna blend with another shade. That's really pretty. Next with this shade here and the unit and the unit 309, I'm gonna pick some up, tap, tap that off and I'm gonna go right above that shade and really just blend those two shades together bring them upward. I just really like to place the dark shade first to define the shape and then work my way up with the lighter color. And then I'll flip back to the 307, no additional product. And you can definitely add more product if you like. I'm not going to and just blend to smooth that transition. I really like that. And with this shade here, I want to see how it applies with the finger. I know it's not a shimmer, but when we go to like a creme formula, and this is more like a cream to powder, sometimes they perform better. So I just want to, I want to try it. It does perform beautifully. It does give the pigment on the lid that you expect from the shadow. So I'm gonna try the Unit 308. Just pick, pick up some of that shadow and 
just see if that, yep, that works well. That works great as well. I see how I, I feel like I kind of lost that deeper shade out here. So with the unit 309, since it's like smaller, definitely smaller than the unit 307. So this is the 309 and this is the 307. I'm going to go with that dark shade and kind of just, and I'm going to concentrate that here and just, you see how messy that looks? And it's gonna blend effortlessly, but that's where I wanted the color placement. So then I'll switch to the 307 just because I like when they are softer and not as dense to blend all the colors together yet still have that color payoff. And then I'll dab in the lighter shade Tap that off and kind of just make sure I bring that back in here so it doesn't get lost. So let me finish the other eye off camera and I will be right back. And there we are. I really like this one. We're going to rank them in a minute. Let me apply some liner and mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I did apply liner and mascara. For the liner, I used both ends of the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Eye Cold Duo. I used the dark brown to tight line my upper waterline. And I used this bronzy gold shade on my lower waterline and then I did apply the Tom Ford Badass Mascara. Now what I think about this quad, honestly this is probably one of my favorite along with Rose Quartz. If I had to rank them all, I would probably just for the fact that it at least has a shimmer, I would rank Rose Quartz first because I feel it's more versatile. It'll attract a larger a larger audience than versus an all matte palette. I do love an all matte palette. I absolutely love it because you can just go very subtle and then pop the lips, pop the cheeks, pop the highlight. You know, it all depends on what you want to pop. You know what I mean? But I would rank them personally. Rose Quartz, Rose Topaz, did I say rose quartz throughout this video? Y'all knew what I meant. Rose topaz, smoky quartz, followed by tiger eye. I would rank tiger eye last, even though it has my favorite shades in it, simply because it's a little more difficult to work with than the others. If you want a high intense color payoff, if you're good with a subtle color payoff, Tiger Eye. Tiger Eye is the one. But that peach shade that I applied all over the lid in the Tiger Eye video, I just really wanted that shade to bam. And I definitely get that from like the Golden Peach Duo, but not the Tiger Eye peach shade. If you know what I mean. Just because I guess it just didn't meet my expectation as far as the intensity of that shade. So that's the only one that I would say... It really depends on what you're going for. If you like that subtle, soft look, that'll be a nice one. It has multiple formulas, has shimmers, has matte. You can't go wrong with that. It's beautiful. I really like it on matte look. I really do. Like, damn, these pinky nude neutrals, like, where are we going? Like, this is Aileen all day, every day. And as far as the unit brushes, I used four. And I used the 307... 308, 309, and 310. I really enjoyed all of them. I didn't have a problem with them. I really, really like them. And this unit, this unit 308, it's like flat. This is what I used on the lid. This is the brush that when I spritz it, 
really gave that intensity I was looking for with that tiger eye peach shade. But as far as smoky quartz goes, I'm I'm happy to have all three. I really, really love this one, but it's all a matter of preference. I really do hope that he comes out with more colorful shades, just palettes that you can use in conjunction with each other. I'm really excited for that. Like Tommy, color please. Appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye. But I'm just playing. You guys know I like me some Tom Ford. So let me know if you picked any of them up. What are your thoughts? And until next time, don't forget we're all perfectly imperfect. Bye.